I only have one set of cheeks. Well, actually, I have two sets of cheeks. <laughs> Hello and welcome. I'm Ashley. And today it is actually my last monthly favorites of the year 2020. We are in the home stretch. My November favorites are actually gonna be my last monthly favorites because at the end of December, this month, it's already December, whoa. At the end of this month, I, rather than sharing like a December favorites, I'll be doing my best of 2020, which sounds a little bit like an oxymoron if we're being honest, but we're gonna make it work. No, I wasn't even planning to do a November favorites, but, Yesterday when I was getting ready, I was like, you know what? There are actually so many things that in November like became new favorites of mine. So I have several products I'm gonna share. I think it's two, four, six, eight, eight products. Now, before we get into the favorites, if you enjoy makeup, skincare, hair care, hair, what? Hair care? Hair care, if you like those things, make sure that you click the subscribe button. It gives you a chance to enter my monthly giveaway, which is awesome because like, it's free to subscribe and then you get to enter my monthly giveaway, which I give away a $250 gift card. And if you think about it, I don't have that many subscribers. So your chances are actually like pretty solid. Definitely better than the lottery. If you've ever played the lottery, you have absolutely no reason to not enter because your chances for that were like zero. Your chances for this are like what, one in 1800? That's pretty good. All right, let's get into the favorites. So my first November favorite is this Rene Rillo Rosemary Mint Cleansing Milk. I'm in love. It smells like rosemary and mint, just like it says. And what I love most about this is that it's a cleansing milk and you put it directly on dry skin. I love that because in the morning, I am someone who really like, getting me to wash my face in the morning is kind of hard. I'm not a fan of like getting up and splashing water on my face. I literally will take a shower, not get my face wet. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, I don't want to get my face wet. So I love that I can put this on to like wake my skin up. I don't have to wet my face first. I put this on, rub it into my skin. The mint and the rosemary is very like refreshing and rejuvenating. It feels very like energizing and like in a nice way, not like in an annoying like too much way just in like a oh this is very luxurious and i'm awake i'm like at a spa i booked a morning spa appointment in my own bathroom and here i am getting a nice little mini facial so i put that on and then i can rinse it off and it's just it makes it more pleasurable for me to cleanse my skin in the morning renee rollo who we all know at this point let's say it together i trust implicitly she's a big proponent of doing a cleanse in the morning and i just i trust her but i'm like i don't really want to do it this makes me actually want to do it. So I have been absolutely loving this. I'm so glad I got it. It's just fantastic. It's fantastic. Next up, another skincare product. This is the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. It has peach extract and peptide complex. It also has a little bit of niacinamide in it. I was hesitant about this, you guys. I didn't trust the claims. I was like, oh, this is not going to make my skin look like glass. I actually can tell a difference when I use this. I usually use this right before I put on my makeup is what I've been doing. I really notice a difference that my skin, my pores look a little bit like minimized. My skin just looks a little smoother right through here. I spoke about this before. I have dry skin. I have the first signs of aging. So I tend to get a little bit of texture right along here. And this doesn't change like the texture, but what it does do is that when I'm taking good care of my skin, which I always am, I still occasionally have like some enlarged pores going on right here. This helps minimize that and it just gives me a nice base. So I like to put this on. I will literally do my morning skincare routine like normal. And then when I go to do my makeup, I put a little bit of this on, follow with a moisturizer, then go into my primer, my foundation, and my makeup sits beautifully on top of it. I used it today. It looks lovely. It is just it's really nice. I really like this. It does smooth the skin out a good bit. Now I want to talk about a foundation that I am absolutely in love with. I've said it before. I will say it again. It's not a surprise that this made it to the favorites list. It is the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. I wear the shade 2N1 Cashew. You guys, this foundation, I'm wearing it today. This foundation gives you the most like candlelit glow. I it sounds crazy that a foundation can do that, but it does. And it's so funny. I tried this in a first impressions video. And at first I was like, oh yeah, this is just not as like radiant and dewy as I normally like my makeup to be. 
And then by the time I was done with my makeup, I just could not stop looking at my skin. I mean, seriously, look at my skin today. Oh, who's this lovely lady with this beautiful skin? <laughs> it's just me, Ashley. Seriously, this is beautiful. I love this finish of this. I cannot believe I had not heard this sooner. Why is why is everyone not talking about this? Was everyone talking about this before and I missed it or something? This is amazing. I love this foundation. I don't even want to reach for another foundation right now. I just keep going back to that one because it's so freaking good. So Laura Mercier, you beautiful lady. You really did it with that one. Let's talk about another beautiful lady who really outdid herself, Miss Pat McGrath. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Sublime Perfection Concealer. I wear the shade L2. This concealer, again, this is something that was recommended. I have seen so many people recommend this. The one that I finally, I saw Kate the Great using it. Oh look, I've got concealer everywhere. That's lovely. Um, and it just looked so beautiful on her. And I was like, let me get that because you know what? I, I trust her, so let me try it. It's amazing. It's amazing in the sense that it blends out so seamlessly. I have never had a concealer that just blends into my makeup so seamlessly that I like, I, it blends so seamlessly. It's just, it's beautiful. It's not drying. So if you're like me and you have dry skin, my under eyes are the most dry part of my face. It's not drying. The consistency is very nice. It has a similar consistency to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It's by no means the exact same thing at all. It's not like a dupe or anything. Just the consistency is similar. And the shade match is really good for me. The L2 is perfect for my under eyes. So you go, Pat. Like that was such an exciting find for me. Absolutely love that concealer. While we're talking about Pat McGrath, let's just talk about this palette. This is the Pat McGrath Mothership 2 Sublime Palette. If you saw the second part of my Never Ending Sephora haul, you will know that this, along with two others, are my first Pat McGrath palettes. Now, this is the only one that I have actually broken into and used. I used it for my Thanksgiving holiday makeup tutorial. You guys, I keep going back and watching that video. Yes, I watch my own videos. Do not judge me. It helps me learn how to talk because sitting down and talking to a camera is not necessarily the most natural of things, especially for someone like me who's a huge introvert, believe it or not, huge introvert over here. So yes, yeah, sometimes I watch my own videos just to see like, did I sound like a blubbering idiot? Sometimes yes, but that's okay. Be yourself. There's only one of you, the world needs you. Anyway, enough of my Mr. Rogers spiel. I love Mr. Rogers, but anyway, I keep going back and watching that video and I'm like, oh my gosh, my, eyeshadow in that video is so ethereal and just oh my god the shifts that there are in this palette I cannot get over it I have been playing with it I have a couple other holiday looks you'll see at least one of them before Christmas this palette it, so much more wearable wearable quote unquote everything's wearable because you wear it but you know what I mean I'm like a natural glam kind of person I don't you know go with very bold looks very often so I was always kind of like worried about using these palettes and buying them. I thought maybe this isn't really gonna work for me. No, this is like very wearable. You can get so many looks out of this. And the shifts on this palette, there are not words. There are really not words. They're just so beautiful and so unlike anything else that I have in my collection. So I, the Sublime one, it's funny. I did not expect this to be the one that I was like gonna first be reaching for and, and using. I really didn't, but I have just been reaching for it consistently like anytime I'm not doing you know because when I'm filming videos sometimes I'm like pulling specific products for a reason but when I'm just doing my makeup on my own I have been really reaching for this because I love that there are so many like one and done shades in here just because of the shift they're so interesting that you can just use one all over the lid and you have a look that looks like you did more than you did so this is really good I don't know why it took me so long to buy one but the Sublime one is the one that I am favoriting, favoriting for November 2020. All right, the next product is something that I have been reaching for every time I do my makeup. I have to like stop myself and make myself pick out other cheek products. It is the Mini Ambient Lighting Edit Sculpture Unlocked from Hourglass. This is the mini one from their Holiday 2020 collection. I didn't get the big one this year because I got the big one last year of the Ghost Edit, the Hourglass Ghost Edit. That was their holiday 2019 collection. I got the big one, absolutely loved it, but I didn't use it enough to where I was like, oh, let me get this huge cheek palette again. And I recently spoke about how 
I've not been wanting to buy powdered cheek palettes anymore because I constantly buy them and it's like, I only have one set of cheeks. Well, actually I have two sets of cheeks. <laughs> so I was like, let's go with the happy medium and get the mini. I'm so glad I did. I absolutely love this. The bronzer shade in here, I absolutely love this bronzer shade. I love that you get like a nice glow, even though it's a powder bronzer. The highlight is beautiful. This powder, like for setting, I don't set my whole face with it, but I sometimes just set like where I wanna be highlighted with it and then go over it with the highlighter. And the blush is very beautiful. It's a very flattering, like berry rose tone. It's just a good holiday tone. And I love the packaging. The packaging for this is actually way better to me than, ooh, I just got like the sun was like, hi, welcome Ashley. And now I look like Casper. Don't want to look like Casper the Friendly Ghost, although I loved that movie. But it made me very sad as a child. That movie's that movie's very bittersweet. It, it really, I cannot watch it again to this day because it just it hurt my heart a little bit. Anyway, moving on from my childhood like faux traumas, uh, this palette is really beautiful and the packaging really is so much better in my opinion than the packaging of the Ghost Edit. I mean, it's got fingerprints everywhere, no big deal but this packaging is so much nicer. It is plastic, but it's a good weighty plastic and it looks very nice, looks very luxurious. And to me, this is a good size mirror. The mirror that's on here is a pretty good size mirror. Let's talk about a product that I am just shocked is on this list. It is the Milk Kush Lip Balm. I have the shade Nug. Cannot believe that I have a lip balm on a favorites video that is not the Laneige Glowy Lip Balm. But this is really good. I love this for day to day. This is the lip balm I've been using daily since I opened it. It's a really nice hydrating formula. I love that it gives me a little bit of a tint. This one nug is a little bit of like, it's like a rosy beige kind of tint, almost like a nude, quote unquote. It's really nice. It feels really hydrating. And I like that it keeps my lips feeling hydrated and healthy and plumped, but it's not like, that like kind of like it's not sticky but you know like the Laneige if you've ever tried the Laneige lip glowy balm or Laneige I'm never gonna figure that out whatever you know the lip glowy balm if you've ever tried it it has like kind of like a more of like a putty consistency I guess this one is just like a very traditional balm so if you're someone who likes like Carmex chapstick things like that that's the consistency of this it's basically chapstick that works because I don't find chapstick to really work well for me. So this is like chapstick consistency, but it actually works. So I leave this on my vanity and I've been using it daily. This is what I put on my lips because I like that I don't have to then wipe it off before I put on lipstick because it's not that kind of almost sticky consistency like the Glowy Lip Balm, which I definitely feel like I have to wipe it off before I put on lipstick. This sinks into the lips. It settles in really nicely. I don't feel like I have to wipe it off before I throw on a lip product. The last favorite I wanna talk about is this perfume from Narciso Rodriguez. It is titled Narciso. This has been my go-to daily scent in November. I'm absolutely loving it. It is like, it's a musky woody floral is what they call it, a woody floral. I love musky woody scents, things that feel like they could be very unisex. This is close to being unisex, but then there's like a little hint of floral that makes it feminine. It's very sexy. It's a very sexy scent. It feels very, very perfect for like the cusp of fall and winter like when you're in the end of fall on the cusp of winter and holiday it feels just oddly specific to that time it's so nice i'm gonna read the notes to you the top notes are gardenia and white rose so that's the floor i'm talking about the middle note like the heart note is musk oh, i love me some musk and then the base notes are cedar and vetiver 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 i'm not sure how you say that but it's basically like a grass. I looked it up. It's an Indian grass that they use the essential oil from it to make perfumes. So it's just a very unique scent and it's something I really enjoy. I have been loving this. So if you're someone who, like me who really likes scents that can be almost unisex, you like like a little bit of like a warm musk and some woodiness, but you want to like throw in a little bit of floral just to feel a little more feminine, this is a really great scent. I am notoriously picky about scents. So I love this. I have been loving this and I have been wearing this daily. It's just, I just want to also point out how beautiful is this bottle? Like, look at this. That is so classic. I absolutely love the bottle. I think it's just beautiful. I'm just, 
I'm obsessed. I actually got this for Christmas last year from my husband. He got this for me because I had asked for it because I tried it in Macy's in San Juan and Plaza Las Americas. No, not in Macy's. They didn't have it in Macy's. The JC Penny. The JC Penny in the Plaza Las Americas in San Juan, Puerto Rico is the most beautiful JC Penny you have ever been to in your life. It's like Nordstrom level nice. It's nice. Fun fact, in case you ever need to know that, in case you ever go to San Juan, which you should, when this is all over, you should visit Puerto Rico because it's lovely. You don't need a passport because it's the United States of America and it's really beautiful and lovely. So support Puerto Rico. All right. This has been an ad of the tourism. No, it's not been an ad. This is not an ad. Just a little bit of advice. All right, guys, that's it for my monthly favorites. I thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me. Let me know in the comment below, what was your favorite most used product of November? I so hope to see you in my next video. Until then, you take care of yourself. Bye.